For work, I'm a software engineer. I've uh, been doing that um, my whole career. Did a science degree before that, but have never really professionally done science, just always been software. I can't really remember how I first heard about MakeSpace. I certainly was hearing about it as it was starting up, but at the time, I was um, working in London most of the time and uh, didn't have the time to kind of commit to anything. So when uh, circumstances changed and I was in Cambridge a lot more, the first thing I did was join up as soon as I could. So yeah, it was kind of a bit of an ambition for the last few years, really. Uh, I've made lots and lots of projects. I made things for my kids, uh, toys. I've made um, uh, lots of accessories for my bike, sort of various clamps and brackets and really joined for the 3D printers but then um, was trained up on the laser cutter which was uh, really great. Uh, really liked the vinyl cutter as well and um, started to get into some of the woodworking stuff as well. I often um, bring my family to make space. Um, I, I've got two, two girls um, and they come here for the coding club and they also come here just to work on some of their own projects. They really like it here and they, they, they have ideas as things they want to make and Sometimes they have ideas of things they want me to make, but sometimes it's like, you know, they, they want to come and do it. One of my hobbies is cycling. I'm quite a keen cyclist. As part of that cycling, I do indoor cycling so I can uh, train in the winter in the wet, wet weather. Uh, I have an indoor bike, especially for this, and it's really, really boring to sit on the bike for hours and end, not actually go anywhere. So I wanted to be able to watch TV or films, but also I'm a bit of a data nerd, so I wanted to also be able to see how hard I was working, how, how efficiently I was pedalling, how far I'd gone. It could, you couldn't do that with the standard setup, so I made a little bracket that would um, basically allow you to put two devices on one bike. Started selling the bracket uh, online and um, I was able to get feedback from my users as to new ideas they had and other problems they wanted to solve. First thing I made was an extension that would allow you to put bigger tablets, sort of TV experience. People who wanted to be able to adjust the bike for multiple users, so we made a, a very large sort of adjustment knob that made that easy to do without tools. And I've just um, recently created a uh, hook so you can hang a, a towel or other accessories off um, and have them in easy reach when you're, when you're cycling. All my parts are 3D printed. They're all designed in, um, in CAD software. So before I came to make space, I had no experience of CAD. I'd only ever printed things that other people had designed. So through uh, my time at MakeSpace, I've been able to join workshops and user groups for computer design and learn the skills needed to design my own parts. And the CAD gives me various other benefits. I'm able to generate uh, the instruction uh, diagrams, other images that I use in the uh, packaging and marketing. I first put them on eBay, one or two, to see what would happen, and they sold really quickly. And then very quickly, I was selling about two or three a week, which was quite fun. But then um, lockdown happened and everyone started riding their bikes indoors and I was selling um, 10 a week and uh, that really got quite busy. Sold just short of 400 so far this year. I think it's a really great community. It's a great place to learn. I really enjoy coming here and just hanging out with people, looking at the projects they're doing, discussing ideas with them. I volunteer and I help train people on 3D printers which is a great way to meet people and discuss the projects that they want to do with 3D printing and share ideas with them. It's really the sort of a people and community that um, is, uh, yeah, what I get from MakeSpace more than anything. <laughs>